Hey, it's Sol with another cinematic recap and analysis. You just saw the Eternal Palace Raid final cinematic, and my thoughts sum up to... Uh, yeah, it, it went okay. It was cool. I mean, it was as straightforward and unambiguous as you can get. Ashara is defeated, she falls down, Lorthamar and Jaina approach. Of course, after walking around us, the champions who did the actual work, some titan-shaped doohickey is destroyed, Nazoth's wispy form is set free, snatches up Ashara, and just pieces out. I'll point out just a couple of curiosities that I noticed. When Nazoth picked up his little octopus-looking partner Ashara, was she actually dead? This is something new that we see if this was the case. It's like earlier, instead of her death cry, she falls unconscious, but wakes up in time to notice she's getting took by an old god. Uh-oh. There's a sound here. <laughs> to indicate that Nazoth does something to resuscitate her, like injecting her with some old god lightning, or he squeezes her, or something. Whatever it is, though, it clearly shocks her back into the waking world with a gasp that doesn't just communicate the sensation of coming back, but also that, oh crap, moment, because she's now fully in the grasp of an old god, something that she's been able to evade up until this point. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting because it was effectively Ashara's end, but it wasn't. She plays it off like she planned the events that led to freeing Nazoth, but I think that her defeat and capture was part of Nazoth's real plan all along, and just didn't tell her. Another curiosity to point out is how the color shifts between blue, which I'll say represents purity in part of Azeroth, and red, which represents corruption. For a little bit, this place looks like Antorus, doesn't it? But when Nazoth leaves, everything returns to normal. The Titan Argus was systemically corrupted over many, many years, which is why the area around the Burning Throne stayed red. Azeroth as a whole isn't quite in that state, but thanks to what seems to be the perverting of our heart of Azeroth's power, for a time, it was tainted. This gives a really bleak foreshadow for what's to come as we approach the conclusion to the battle for Azeroth. And there's still the Sylvanas arc to deal with, which will somehow be connected to all of this. So the stage is building for Act 3 of Battle for Azeroth, with Nazoth as the dark, tentacle-shaped star. Queen Ashara will also no doubt return, and whether we see her again as Nazoth's partner or his slave remains to be seen. There are also a lot of untapped threads that started in this expansion, and even before. Most notable are the direct confrontations between Light and Void, including Alaria, Turalyon, and if there's another side to the fate of alternate Draenor. There's also the sightings of Rathian's forces, and what connections there can be between the current Lich King, Talia Dragon, and Kalia Menethil. That's just to name a few. No doubt we're not going to be able to cover everything over the course of this expansion, but how do you think we'll conclude it? I still stand by my theory that the final raid is going to take place in the Titan facility. It could be one that we haven't seen before, like Uldaz, as hinted early in this expansion. Or it could be a place that's more familiar, like the Chamber of Hearts. Imagine the final battle, having the champion stand between Nazoth's might and the world soul of Azeroth herself. It might be cool. So that's going to be it for today. This is a short one, and it's a shame that this cinematic didn't leave all that much to gush over that we haven't already beaten half to death already. But if you enjoyed yourself, like the video, and subscribe for more of this and all things Warcraft. I'll see you later. Until then, stay safe, stay happy, and stay breezy. Thank you.